Hey guys, this is New Sensei. Uh, I'm a long way away from the range today. Uh, I'm taking a training day off, and today I'm actually going to save lives. Um, the call for today is actually to uh, head down to the uh, blood bank and give some plasma. Um, I've actually been doing this for a long time. This is my first time. This is my 28th time or something. So don't expect any uh, squeamish moments. I'm quite used to it by now. Uh, but also the uh, last time I'll be donating at the Berg Street uh, blood bank. They're closing it down. Um, they're actually setting a new one uh, down uh, around the corner. Uh, they're merging with the South Bank headquarters. So they're making a brand new big donation centre in Melbourne CBD. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. But it's been a, it's been a little nostalgic. Um, I haven't been back to the blood bank for quite a while. I've had various health problems, but uh, everything cleared up. I really want to go back to um, uh, doing the whole blood donation, plant donation sort of thing. So I'm looking forward to going back there. Uh, I've just had lunch, and uh, I'm going to wait, wait around for a bit, and uh, I'll be at the blood bank uh, in a few minutes. I actually began donating blood as part of a high school community service project, and I've been doing it since. As with most people, I started with whole blood donations, but was moved onto plasma donations after a couple of years. My blood type is strangely reflective of my attitude. Be positive. This is likely going to be my last time at the Burke Street Centre, so I want to take it all in. Before going into the interview, I need to fill in this questionnaire filled with questions about my travel, experience in the sex industry, and the most difficult question of all, am I pregnant? The most painful part in the whole process, in my opinion, is getting your finger pricked for your hemoglobin check. Oh, this part hurts too, but you get used to it after a while. Before I'm hooked up, samples of my red stuff are collected for testing. I'm then reacquainted with someone I haven't met for a long time. This is Bunny. I don't go out that often, so this is probably the most action I'll be getting. Bonnie is an aphorisis machine, and her job is to take my blood, spin it around in a centrifuge, and separate the red blood cells from the plasma. The display shows a pixelated illustration of me, with the arrow on my arm indicating which direction the blood is pumping. Underneath are various stats, including the target volume of plasma. In my case, I'm donating the maximum 902 milliliters of plasma. This is based mostly off your body weight, though you normally start off lower and progress to higher volumes. In comparison, regular whole blood donation only takes 470 mils, which can be used whole or separated into its individual components. Plasma donations allow for more to be taken without adverse effect to the donor, and because the blood cells are returned, the donor can return more frequently, typically 2-3 to three weeks compared to the 3-month wait period for whole blood. The process takes around 30 minutes. This is because the machine only takes a certain amount of blood before separating the plasma and returning the cells, taking several cycles to reach the target volume. As the cells are returned, a saline solution is pumped intravenously to restore the lost fluids. Because the saline is room temperature, donors may feel chilly when it's pumped into the body, and it's normal for donors to request a blanket. The plasma itself is this odd coloured fluid, which looks nothing like what you might expect the liquid part of your blood to be like. I did mention that this process does take quite a while. I tried passing my time by thinking of good blood puns. Unfortunately, 
it was all in vain. Oh look, we're nearly there. I swear, if this thing stops at 901... Done! We made it! My effort and patience are rewarded with complimentary food and beverage. In this case, a bag of pretzels, a chocolate chip cookie and a strawberry milkshake. This is enough to get me back on my feet and I'm out for an early solo dinner dessert. While I am dining alone, I couldn't help but think about Bunny. We shared good times and even though she sucked the life force out of me, I hope we can meet again, another time, another place. Meanwhile, I drown my sorrows in this lovely tiramisu pancake. If you are interested in finding out more about donating blood or plasma, visit donateblood.com.au or check out your national blood service. This is New Sensei, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.